It's finally here. After a ton of waiting, after the belief that it was gonna drop right after Loki finished. Then there was the freaking leak, and no, I did not watch the leaked trailer. I had no particular interest in watching something that looked like it was pixelated and condensed in the early 2000s. No interest. So, the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer has now arrived. And I am going to watch it, and I am going to react to it, and I am probably going to regret doing those things because these trailers have almost always shown too much. Even going all the way back to the amazing Spider-Man trailers, they showed way too much. And the Spider-Man um, Homecoming showed way too much. The, I mean, it's arguable that Far From Home, like, played a, a little bit closer to the vest because it, it didn't tip its hand in terms of where it was actually going, unless, you know, you already knew Mysterio was a villain going in, which, eh. But anyways, that's enough of that. Let us take a look at Spider-Man No Way Home. I mean, the other thing is I need to watch it now anyway, because even if I avoid it, there's no way I'm going to be able to keep a lid on spoilers after this thing goes up. I barely managed to do that when the leak was being intensely scrutinized by those who were willing to put up with its resolution. Anyway, let's see. Well, there's Doctor Strange. Oh, this is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. <laughs> Stop, come on. Yes, my spider lord. <laughs> Can we just like stay up here all day? It is so crazy down there. So he's been outed and he's just chilling? That's right, folks. Spider-Man is in fact Peter Parker. Listen, I did not kill Mysterio. The drones did. The drones that are yours. Ooh. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? Kind of a good mm -hmm. point. Now that everybody knows, you don't really have to hide or lie to people. For the record, I never wanted to lie to you. But how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? Now everybody knows. Oh, jeez. But this isn't about me. This is hurting a lot of people. I've just been thinking about how to fix all of this. So, Peter. Why do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay, Steven. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. <laughs> when Mysterio revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. Ooh, don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Fine, I won't. Oh dear. The entire world is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Wait, everyone? Can't some people still know? That's not how the spell works. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my god, Ned, he's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really stop talk talking. Whoops! I do like these two paired together. What just I happened? Always... tampered with the stability of space-time. The multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. Yep. It's true, multiverse! Whoa, Robin. It's you trying to live two different lives. The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. I like that they're pulling in a lot of the just the visuals. From... Oh! <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, Parker. Yes! Hello, Peter. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Look. It was possibly one of the worst kept secrets in Hollywood that he was in this. I don't care. Alvin Molina, so good as Octavius, and da ah, ha, 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 oh, okay, okay, here's the thing, I have said in the past, and I will probably say again in the future, 
that multiverse stories have a tendency to ultimately end up not being worth it because things get too convoluted. Things just get layered on top of each other and things become twisted and knotted and it becomes a mess and then to try and untangle it requires retcons and fixes. Like, it looks like it's already part of this movie. But here's the thing. I had kind of forgotten that early on in the lifeblood of a, a multiverse or alternate universe or alternate timeline story, it's exciting to see the pieces that aren't supposed to interact get to interact. And moments like that, and this grin which is not leaving my face, are the reasons why multiverse stories happen. I'm not especially nervous for this movie. I am nervous about the long-term viability of the multiverse um, in the MCU. Just because, like, I, 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 I'm not disowning my belief that multiverses become too convoluted for their own good. They become confusing, off-putting, and just too much work to keep up with. But man, look, maybe I should put a little more trust after we got into the Spider-Verse, which was a multiverse story, though, like, to be fair about it, like, it was built to be one right from the offset, as opposed to having a multiverse introduced to something that was built without one for a decade. So, like, I'm still gonna, I'm st like, nerves, nerves, nerves will be a thing. And look, we saw a pumpkin bomb. We did not see Willem Dafoe. Pumpkin bomb would seem to indicate him. Although, like, you want to be technical about it, it would not be impossible for uh, Otto to have uh, yanked Norman's gear. But if he's around, unconfirmed, I think, still officially, unless it got unless it was part of other leaks. I'm not looking at the leaks. I'm just not doing it. Um, one would expect Tobey Maguire to show up. What we don't have an indicator on right now is any sign of Andrew Garfield or that end of things. And that would be, it would be interesting either way, honestly. Because I have a suspicion that the MCU would like to have ties to Raimi's Spider-Man. And not just because Sam Raimi is going to be directing the next uh, Doctor Strange movie, but also because that's a prestige and well-loved and well-respected franchise, third film notwithstanding. They're still thought of very highly. So I think tying those in would be something they'd like to do. It would be interesting if they bring in the Andrew Garfield ones because it'd be interesting to see what they do with them. Give Andrew Garfield another shot at, you know, being in something decent as Spider-Man. Uh, but it would also be interesting if they leave him out basically... Um, disowning Sony's entire reboot experiment because it wouldn't be a terrible thing to do. Although I do remember there were rumors of Jamie Foxx coming back as Electro again, and that would tie things in. But there's only so much you can cram into one trailer. And this is a proper trailer. It's not a teaser. It's giving us plot. It's giving us the setup. I am really enjoying Stephen Strange and Peter Parker together. I like them together in the comics, too. They have a nice contrasting energy. These two especially. It's really good. I'll be curious to see how far into the movie they keep up the whole thing of him having been exposed. Because honestly... That is something that the comics haven't really dealt with. The only time it ever really came up was Civil War. But the thing is, there wasn't really the time to deal with the idea of what his life, day-to-day -day life, was like now that he was um, known to the public. Because, you know, the events of Civil War, the comic version, were going on at the time. So, ah, eh, kind of busy. But, like... I, it was interesting to see scenes of just normal stuff. Him going to school and everybody just staring. And with all this stuff going on, I, I, I would actually, I would have been up for them even exploring that in more detail because that's something that isn't done with Spider-Man very often, period, and definitely hasn't been explored in the movies. But I also believe that it's something that would cause Peter to be like, can, can I get a mulligan? Can I get a do-over on this? 
so yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm digging the blending of the visual aesthetic of Doctor Strange with the energy of Spider-Man. I I I want to see who else turns up. I I have little doubt that Alfred Molina is the tip of the spear. Um but boy. Boy oh boy. As someone who likes Doctor Octopus as a character in general, loves Alfred Molina's interpretation of that character. This is who I wanted to see the most. So I am a dang happy person. Spider-Man. No way home. What did you think about this trailer? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Like, share, subscribe. I got a Patreon. It's how I pay my bills. No pressure, though. Take a relaxed attitude around here so you can just come on back next time you need a break.